The IMD has issued a fresh heat wave alert for parts of India. Regions in northwest India are expected to experience severe heat wave like conditions over the next five days. With this forecast, the weather department has issued a red alert for Delhi, Haryana, Punjab, and West Rajasthan as well for severe heat wave like conditions over the states. Delhi experienced, remember, scorching temperatures with the mercury reaching a blistering 47.4 degrees Celsius, and the heat wave conditions are likely in east and western Uttar Pradesh as well. Isolated pockets of Uttarakhand, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Gangetic, West Bengal, Jharkhand and Odisha as well will face these heat wave conditions till the 22nd of May. My colleague Tanushka joins us from New Delhi to take us through the latest. Uh, now Tanushka, in terms of the ground situation in Delhi, what is it like and what precautions is the government taking? Right, so uh, keeping in mind that the IMD has issued a red alert for today and tomorrow uh, for severe heat wave conditions in Delhi after Delhi recorded its hottest day of the season with temperatures soaring to 43.7 degrees Celsius. The forecast for today, the maximum temperature for today that the India Meteorological Department has forecasted is at 44 degrees Celsius. So Delhi may see its uh, hottest season of the day today day as well. The IMD has made a seven day forecast and the precautions or the uh, potential impacts that IMD has highlighted uh, to keep in mind the heat wave conditions is a do's and do's precautionary list. It has uh, rolled out this list which says to avoid stepping out in the heat and especially uh, such to avoid such conditions, weather conditions for uh, individuals who are vulnerable to this situation, especially like infants, elderly and uh, people who have chronic diseases. Uh, what the IMD has suggested is to consume sufficient water, ORS, lemon water and buttermilk. Other than this, in a first step, the Ram Manohar Lohia Hospital has, uh, it's the first hospital in the city which has come up with a heat wave or heat stroke intensive care unit. This unit, this ward in the hospital is a separate ward and it is brand new, equipped, fully equipped with three bathtubs that will be having a capacity to put uh, patients into it who are su suffering from high temperatures with well sanitized environment, a stable temperature requirement as well as ice cubes that will be produced then and there for ice baths. This is a really advanced uh, special care unit for heat stroke that the RML hospital has come up with. There are also uh, special uh, wards in the sense that beds that will be set up for heat stroke heat stroke patients only. So right. these are the things that the government has come up with to combat such severe heat wave conditions. Right. Uh, thank you, Tanushka, for joining us and bringing us those updates from the ground. I'm also being joined by former DG of IMD, KG Ramesh. Sir, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, sir, just for the benefit of our viewers, what does a red alert mean and what action should both residents as well as the administration take in such a situation? See, we have uh, red alert is given for taking uh, uh, response actions by the administration and the people. Mm -hmm. So there is a heat wave action plans prepared uh, for several states and the National Disaster Management Authority has done the preparedness uh, planning meeting also. And based on that, when red alert is issued, uh, government also should ensure that their offices, public services offered by the government should not be uh, uh, operating uh, during the peak uh, uh, temperature timings, particularly 11 o'clock to uh, uh, 3 o'clock and uh, school timings also should be rescheduled and many of the public services should be closed by one o'clock so there are some set of uh, um, procedures drinking water availability and ors uh, availability in different parts of uh, the city so there are uh, so many such uh, guidelines particularly uh, industrial area which are working in uh, tinned roofs sheds so they should also be given uh, 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 break during uh, uh, 12 to 3 in particular because uh, tinned roof will become much more warmer for labor to work and people who are working in the open field for agriculture and construction workers and uh, these uh, uh, delivery uh, people they should also be uh, alerted about uh, the extreme heat conditions so that uh, uh, personal precautions and safeguards are taken. 
Right, sir. And in terms of nutrition as well, there were some uh, guidelines that were uh, issued in terms of uh, electrolytes uh, that should be taken, uh, precautions in terms of what residents can do uh, to, to, for them to feel like they're taking enough action as well. Potassium, uh, potassium balance is very important. That's where the ORS uh, um, will make uh, uh, that imbalance uh, immediately replenished. And then uh, uh, buttermilk is another option uh, with both sugar and uh, uh, salt mixed buttermilk. So like that, those are uh, the lemon juice is another one where uh, immediately um, energy will come back just like right. glucose people used to have when they are weak. So these are all the things which are known, but still they are um, advocated uh, to practice right. uh, when they are exposed to hot weather conditions. Right, sir. And uh, now the red alert has been issued for the next week. But uh, can there uh, be some sort of respite that people can expect in the coming month at least? No, not uh, definitely. There will be some respite to the um, UP and MP and Bihar uh, and isolated heat wave conditions which are uh, um, alerted now, they will get relief from 25, 25th onwards, but Northwest India uh, will not uh, uh, get any relief uh, from the hot weather conditions. There could be modulation of 1 or 2 degrees this way, that way. Definitely above 40 degrees centigrade temperatures will prevail and persist over uh, Northwest India uh, until the monsoon uh, enters the Kerala, expected to be in the um, last days of May uh, this year as forecasted. Right. Uh, thank you, KJ Ramesh, sir, for joining us and uh, sharing those crucial updates on what to expect in terms of the red alert uh, in northern India.